your big giant hard drive. That is neither a euphemism nor is it an insult. All the data about what makes you you is stored inside of you on DNA. And that's a lot of complex information in a very tiny space. Almost every cell in your body has a DNA strand in it. So that kind of makes DNA the ultimate storage medium. So how do I get my torrents on it? Well, you can't yet, but some scientists are actually working on just that. Nick Goldman and you and Bernie work at the European Bioinformatics Institute, and they managed to get all of Shakespeare's sonnets, a recording of Martin Luther King's I Have a Dream, a photo of their lab, and a research paper all onto a strand of DNA that's barely visible in a test tube. And then they got a computer to play it back. How the heck did they do this black magic? Okay, well bear with me here. Binary code is all ones and zeros. Computers read this huge string of ones and zeros and they assemble it into a file. DNA is a huge string too, but instead of ones and zeros, it's chemicals, uh, guanine, cytosine, adenine, and thymine. G C A T. The guys basically just made each of these chemicals represent a one or a zero. Boom, new file structure. And because they have four building blocks to work with instead of two, they even built some redundancy into the files. So, you know, scratch a DVD or get a bad sector on a hard drive and you're toast. But by making it so no chemical ever repeats in a sequence, no two guanines in a row, for instance, if one goes bad, you can tell what's missing and replace it. And then just to show off, they also found a way to encode it so the file is readable forwards and backwards. Well played, dudes. So how much data are we talking about here? Well, how about storing 150,000 DVDs worth of files in a space the size of your little finger? If you consider that all five seasons of Breaking Bad fit onto 22 DVDs, including extras, that is a lot of data. Now all of the data the entire internet transmits in a month Everything everyone does on the internet fits in two pounds of DNA. Now you've got six picograms of DNA in each one of your cells. You got an average of 10 to the 14th power cells in the human body. So you've got 600 grams of DNA in you. That's about a pound. So the amount of DNA it takes you and a friend to exist would cover roughly all of the internet activity in the world for 30 days. So obviously give me this magic hard drive, right? Well, not just yet. It costs anywhere from ten to twenty thousand dollars to synthesize DNA right now, and sequencing it costs about as much. So to be practical as a commercial product, we'd need the process to cost less than one percent of what it costs now, and we'd need that to happen within the next fifty years because inflation and stuff. And of course, once we've all got DNA sequencers in our house, I'm sure that we'll have bigger issues on our minds than how much music we can store on it. Like, you know, changing our own genetic makeup on the fly. Little things like that. Man, things are gonna get so crazy in the next few decades. Let me know what technology you are looking forward to the most and subscribe if you haven't yet because we do these twice a day. All the Criterion collection here and then. Then I would hide a Kesha album here because I don't want anybody to know.